Yeah. So how did you exactly first come into contact with A Course in Miracles? And what is it exactly, Dory? It's interesting. I had heard about it because at that time it was in the 1990s and Marion Williamson, who I later ended up touring with for about 20 years, but I didn't know her at the time. She had written a book called A Return to Love and she was on Oprah and my mom had bought that book. And she had started to get into A Course in Miracles uh, study groups. And my mom gave me a copy of A Return to Love by Marian Williamson and encouraged me to study A Course in Miracles. And I actually, this was back when I was having paranormal experiences all the time. And I heard a voice one day and it sounds so stupid. I don't hear voices anymore. I don't have paranormal anymore. But back then, because I was so demonically oppressed, I heard a voice and it said, quit drinking and get into A Course in Miracles. I know it sounds super, super strange, but I thought because quit drinking was good advice. I was drinking wine every night at that time. Um, and I did stop drinking. And, and I thought that because quit drinking was good advice, that A Course in Miracles must be good too. So I, I found out that I thought A Course in Miracles was like a class you take, but it's, it was actually a channeled book um, from the 1960s by a woman who is a psychiatrist in Cornell named Helen Shookman and her associate, Bill Thetford. And Helen and, and Bill had been having a lot of problems at work. And one day in exasperation, Helen, who, by the way, was raised also sort of in Christian science and Judaism and atheism, kind of a weird blend. Uh, so she was not Christian. And so she, one day she kind of put up her hands and said, there has to be a better way with all this stuff at work. And she heard a voice and the voice said, this is a course in miracles, write this down. And she kept hearing the voice, this is a course in miracles. So she said to her coworker, Bill, what should I do? And he said, I think you should write it down. So over several years, this voice dictated to her, a course in miracles. He never actually called himself Jesus, but she just assumed it was, and it was popularized that it was the voice of Jesus it kind of explaining what he really meant that the Bible got wrong. So that just fit right into my suspicion at that time with the Bible. And A Course in Miracles is actually called the New Age Bible for that reason. The original text, which was what I studied, is called the Ur text, U-R-T-E-X-T. And it's thousands of pages pages long. I mean, I, I had printed it out on my printer because someone had given me a, a floppy disk. This is how long ago it was. Yeah. And it was like this big and, and it just seemed like the truth, but it was the typical mixing truth and lies that the devil does. So it would tell you that the key to happiness is forgiveness, that if we just forgive ourselves and everyone else and God, that then, then we would achieve what they called atonement and atonement. Mm -hmm. They use all kinds of Christian terms, um, yeah. but it's the gospel on its ears. So I read the earth text um, and took a few classes, but it was really self-study. And the book is three parts. The first part is called the, the um, workbook for students. And uh, the, there's a oh, text and then a workbook for students and a manual for teachers. And so the text is just this channeling. And in the ur text, you see Helen Shookman's handwritten notes in the side. And you see extra words where she and Bill were having kind of a an odd relationship, I'll put it that way. And, and some psychoanalytic terms, because I have a background in, you know, BA and MA in psychology, I thought it was interesting. The second part of A Course in Miracles book is a workbook for students. It's 365 daily meditations and tasks that they call a, um, a spiritual psychotherapy. It's designed to rewire how you think. And it starts off with you think, looking around the room and saying, I'm one with this chair. I'm one with this wall. I'm one with this artwork. And so it's really that whole um, Eastern, you know, non-dualistic um, pantheism yeah. worldview. And then the third part of Course in Miracles is a manual for teacher. And boy, is that a ego stroking book. <laughs> it just, it says in there, and I just was hooked like a fish. It says how many... I think they call them light workers. How many light workers does, or how many teachers? That's right, Course in Miracles teachers. How many teachers does it take to save the world? And it says just one, but he must have his mind completely aligned with the Course in Miracles. And I thought, that's me. That's me. I want to save the world. And so and I've met so many ex Course in Miracles people since then who got hooked on that one line. 
Um, because in the new age and in progressive Christianity, you're taught that it's up to us to save the world when Jesus is our savior. And we're not supposed to save the world. I mean, revelation shows things are in, in the, the all of it discourse, things are going to get worse before Jesus return. So I was, you know, that is the narcissism of new age. I thought I was there going to save the whole world. And it, that's just insanity. And I repent for it. And if I influenced anyone who's watching, I'm so sorry. 